This training video will walk you through creating content panels and assembling layouts for banquet event orders in your Planning Pod venue management account. From the home screen dashboard, click on your name in the upper left hand corner and choose account settings from the drop down menu. We are going to be addressing several different setting areas under the application setup section of the settings. The first one is going to be creating content panels. Once we've created content panels, we will be able to use these to assemble BEO layouts. You can have multiple BEO layouts in your account to accommodate for different situations like a room rental only versus a full planning event or even a front of house banquet event order versus a kitchen sheet. Let's go ahead and get started and you can see how this all works together. First, we're gonna click on the Banquet Event Order BEO Content Panels. Within this menu, you'll have the option to create multiple content panels that can in turn be assembled into actual layouts. Let me show you what this might look like. I'm gonna click Create Panel, and you'll see a variety of panels that have been pre-created based on information that populates from tools within a specific event. So let's go ahead and start with the event info panel. I can change the panel title and I can add a description. The description will be internal for you to use when you're actually assembling this. So let's keep it really simple and we're gonna call this the client facing BEO. And I'm gonna click save. Now I can scroll down and I'm going to look for that client facing BEO. And you'll see it's right here. Now on this specific panel, I want to choose what information I want to show on my BEO that I'm going to share with a client. The BEO number is something that will automatically populate, but my client may not care about that. So I can hide that field. I want my event name and my description, the start date and time and date and time, my head count, and I want the locations, but I may not want to show the email and the phone number for vendors. As I hide the information, you'll notice that it will show me what data points are hidden, and I can show those again if I need to. Back at the top, let's go ahead and add another panel for our client facing BEO. In this case, I wanna make sure that I've added my food panel. Once again, I'm gonna scroll down. As I scroll, you'll notice that these panels are in alphabetical order accor according to the title of the panel. So I have my catering selections right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and decide what I want to show my client. Now the package name and the package pricing are important, and the meal type, but I may not want to show my order type. So I'm gonna go ahead and hide that. I want the description, the quantity, but I definitely don't wanna show my client the wholesale cost. They don't need to see the SKU. They don't necessarily need to see um, the menu price um, or the pickup and additional notes. So I've created a panel that's very specific to what I want to go on my client facing BEO. You can add additional panels, custom panels by simply clicking custom. Under my decor and special requirement custom panel, I can go ahead and start adding fields. So I can come here and edit this field. Instead of calling it custom field one, I'm gonna call this table linens. We can move on to actually putting these together into a true BEO. You can access the BEO layouts right here from this button or by going back to the account settings and clicking on the BEO layout option. You'll notice that we have a few BEOs that are pre-populated into your account, but you can also create a totally custom BEO from the panels we just created. I'm gonna go ahead and click add new BEO layout, and I can choose how many columns I want this to lie in. 
let's go ahead and do two columns. And we're gonna call this our client facing BEO. Once I click save, it's going to give us two blank columns and I can begin adding panels. Note that panels must be added in the previous step under the content panels before you can actually apply them to a layout. So I'm gonna click add panels and it's going to give me an option for all of the BEO layout panels I have created. When I click save, it's going to put all those options in the first column, but we can of course reorder these by simply dragging and dropping them into the orientation that we'd like them to be in. Note that when you're making changes to the BEO layouts in the settings area, it is actively impacting the BEOs that you have within events that are using these layouts. So if I were to, for example, completely remove the decor and special requirements from the layout settings, it would also remove it from the BEOs within events. This is truly a setting, not a template. Once I've rearranged this and I'm happy with the layout here, I can return to my BEO layouts and start building another one. You'll be able to access each of these through any event that you're working on. You'll see here now, if I open my BEO under this event, I'll have access to all of my options under this menu. To learn more about using BEOs in events, make sure to check out the other articles in the Help Center and other videos on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash planning pod. Reach out to us at support at planningpod.com or use the help button in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Thanks so much for joining us today and have a great day.